Hello my loves, welcome to Feminine Dating with Lillian Toscano, helping modern women unleash their feminine power. Hello, hello my loves, welcome, welcome to another exciting episode of the Feminine Dating Podcast where we explore everything about being a confident feminine woman in the world of dating. I'm your host, Lillian Toscano, and today I am so excited to be sharing with you five feminine texting tips that will create a deeper connection with the men you date. And But before we jump in into these uh, five tips, I wanted to personally invite you to my upcoming masterclass, Skip the Swipes attract high quality men in the real world. So if you are tired of online dating, you are done with it. I invite you to come um, and learn my strategy, I, which I've done for myself. I actually met my husband, maybe some of you know, in the real world, in person. Um, and I've also done this for my clients. I mean, I have some clients who come to me and they don't want to do anything. They don't want to do online dating. They strictly want to meet men in the real world. And that's what we work with. And I've had so much success with that. But now I just want to share my strategy with you uh, totally free. And so it is October 27th at 10 a.m. PST. I will be leaving the link in the description of this episode. And you just need to register. And I'll love to see you there um, in uh, life with me because it's so much more fun being able to share, you know, the time together. Uh, but you do will be getting the recording if you cannot make it at the time of the masterclass. So don't you worry, <laughs> you still have the recording um, that you'll be receiving, but um, sign up and I will see you there. So let's get started. Feminine texting 101. How do you communicate through text using your feminine energy? So as you know, my love, even if you're not in the same room as this man, he can still feel your energy. In any form of communication, he is going to feel it. So you want to create that emotional connection with them, even through text. So these tips are going to help you create that, that emotional intimacy that you desire. So number one, when this man sends you a text, because he is the one initiating contact with you. He should always be the one initiating contact with you. You should always allow this man to initiate contact with you. When he messages you and you respond to this man, I don't want you to respond right away. This is not a strategy. This is not because, oh, I'm going to make him see that I'm hard to get or I'm going to be playing this game. No, not, none of that stuff. What we're talking about is you taking the time to respond to him in your feminine energy. So let's say he's messaging you during work hours, right? And you are in your masculine energy. You are working away. You're doing a project. This is not the energy that you want to respond with. You want to find a time later on in the day where you can just lean back on your couch, on your sofa, have a glass of wine, have a cup of tea, and you are very much in your feminine energy. And this is from where you are going to respond to him with that energy once you are in that energy, not when you're in your work mode. So never ever text him back in your work mode unless it's an urgent text message that you have to send. But other than that, I love take the time to message him back when you are ready to respond to him. Number two, you never, ever, 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 and I am emphasizing the ever because it's a heavy ever. Don't fight over text. Don't ever fight over text. This is not the way to communicate. A high value woman, a feminine energy woman does not communicate in that way through text. She does not argue over text. She finds a time to talk to her men and she does not argue. She communicates with him right? She responds to her triggers. She takes care of herself. She knows what she's feeling and she's able to communicate her needs and what she feels in a way that's not aggressive. We're not going to be fighting with a man like a man. We are ladies here, okay? Don't act like a man and hope to be treated like a lady. This does not work that way. This is Feminine Texting 101 Part 2. How to communicate and build that emotional connection with your men through text. 
using your feminine energy. If you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch that video after this one. So number three is don't swear. You are a high value woman. You're an intelligent woman. You don't need to swear. And I know this can be, uh, could be a controversial one because you're like, well, it's me. I like to swear. This is who I am. This is authentically me. No, it's not. It's a habit. It's a habit that you picked up and you have continued to use that. And it's okay. You can get rid of that habit. It doesn't help you in any way, right? You're going to sound much more intelligent without swearing. So no more swearing, my love, especially through t text, because there can be a lot of miscommunication through text. So the best thing to do is just not to swear at all. And I know it can be hard because sometimes it just feels natural to say a word here and there, but let's not do that okay and especially for fighting like i said in my other video no fighting over tanks and especially do not swear over text number four emojis i love how women love to put a bunch of emojis when they text and it's very cute and i love getting them from my friends but a man doesn't need all those emojis okay just send him one or two that's enough okay don't overdo it with the emojis communicate with him with words that's how he's going to understand you better okay you're not in kindergarten anymore where you know you want to have all these stickers <laughs> so communicate with him with full sentences leave the emojis for your girlfriends for the women in your life because those are the people who appreciate those emojis men don't care for that five be a bit of a mystery i get it texting you know, someone that you really like and you're really interested in, you just want to keep going, but less is more here. Okay. Leave a little bit of mystery. So when you do see him in person, there is something to talk about, right? If you are messaging this man with everything that you do in your day, there's no mystery to you. There's nothing for him to uncover. So allow that space, that beautiful space between the two of you. And when you do come together, you will see that this man is going to be more curious about you. He's going to want to know more about what you do on your spare time. And if you want to learn more about being in your feminine energy, you can go download my free ebook on top of my page. There is a link and you can just download that for free. And you are going to get tools and different exercises to practice to really embody this beautiful energy that's in you. Thank you so much for listening and I wish you a beautiful day. If you want to learn more about being in your feminine energy, I have a free feminine energy guide that you can just download from my website. Just go to lilintoscano.com and download it from there.